Hi, beautiful. You already know what we're here for today. We're trying out some X Mondo color on some natural, non pre lightened dark hair. I've done this before, but not every single color on this exact level. We're gonna take my model Regina here from this level six warm brown and natural color. Her hair is so healthy. It is probably the most resistant hair you could possibly color. We're gonna find out which colors out of the 12 X Mondo colors work on darker hair, and I'll be throwing in some tips and tricks here and there to how to get the most out of your X Mondo color experience when coloring over a darker natural hair color that is not pre-lightened. And make sure you stay till the very end where I'll be giving you a little gift because I love you. Don't people make hearts like this now? Like, I don't get it. I mean, it's kind of cute. I don't think I'm doing it right. Is it this? Great, let's do this. Let's make the... Let's color some hair. Okay, great. Okay, step one. As you'll see, I'm gonna start to clarify Regina's hair. Okay, this is so important. Oh, yes. We're using Project X Detox Shampoo. This shampoo does a great job at giving you the perfect base to work with for really anything. This shampoo will remove buildup and oils from the hair. That way you have a nice clean surface for that color to really grab onto. This will also make your hair slightly more porous and that is great for applying color because, you know, color needs a little bit of grip on there. If your hair is too silky and too damn healthy, it's just not gonna stick, okay? We are not lifting the hair. Semi-permanent color is deposit only. So I actually shampooed her hair twice in a row and then I blow dried her hair and we got prepped for the coloring process. Like I said before, if you don't already know, X Mono Color is a semi-permanent color line. Okay, if you don't know what that means, you should watch more of my videos, obviously, because like the girls I get, I get it, and the girls I don't, don't, you know what I mean? Semi-permanent color latches onto the surface of the hair and does not penetrate into it, and also has no lifting powers. So it is not mixed with the developer, it is a standalone direct dye. So you cannot go lighter, all right, with your hair color when using semi-permanent color. You can only deposit tone on top of the same level or darker tone. You get I me? Mean? You're following me? Now we obviously know X Mono Color also has Bond Builder in it, as well as oils, hyaluronic acid, and proteins to make sure your hair is feeling and looking incredible post-color treatment. Who wouldn't want that? Not all X Mono Colors are made to be used on darker hair, but I will be trying all of them today just to show you guys what happens if you use those ones that aren't marketed to be used on on darker hair. You can check out our website to see more about which colors are recommended and which ones aren't. You'll see the swatches in the carousels. If your hair color is not in the swatch carousel, you should not use that color to color your dark natural hair. All the dark super colors are amazing for coloring dark hair, but you can sometimes get away with things like lime green, but we'll see today how it turns out on Regina. Okay, Regina. So our plan mm -hmm. is, well, my plan, <laughs> we're gonna test all these colors on you, right? Mm -hmm. And you're okay with that, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do super purple on the top layer of your hair. That way we have just like something like overall to cover the rainbow underneath, just in case you wanna be a little businessy mm -hmm. during the day, you know? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> a bit professional. We don't do anything professional here though, so it doesn't really matter. We're gonna go in with every single other color underneath your hair. And obviously we know that not every single color is gonna show up because mm -hmm. we're using yellow and orange and your hair is quite dark, but we're gonna show people the results of when they use it on dark hair. Just in case anybody's wondering what happens if you put yellow over dark hair, we'll find out today. Mm -hmm. We're beginning to color the hair. You'll also notice that when the color goes on the hair at first, it actually isn't as dark and then it starts to develop darker as it's on the hair. So just because you put it on and it looks like it's not doing anything, let it sit there, it'll do its job. And we're going on to the next color and the next color and it's looking quite good. Obviously, I already know this yellow, I feel like is just not gonna do anything. Sometimes it can, but uh, you know, usually on dark hair, yellows and corals and oranges, it's not really the best idea. It can like really warm up your hair a bit. We'll see what the results are on this particular head of hair. We have finished the bottom half with all the different colors and now we're gonna do purple on the top. As you can see, you know, the darker ones are definitely processing really nicely. The lighter ones you're not gonna see as much or maybe at all. Um, we got slate gray processing nicely and um, our pink and our blue. I feel like they're gonna show up pretty well, but we shall see. This is a little experiment today. I'm sticking with the darker colors. Those are gonna look the best. And that is why we are doing purple over the top because I at least want her to have something that's wearable and not just a messed up rainbow of 
colors that half didn't show up and half did. Okay, we finished the coloring process. I'm gonna put a bag on her hair. That way her hair is heated up. It allows that color to latch on better. And we're gonna leave it on for about 30 minutes. I like really never do that, but it just felt right in the situation. If your hair is very resistant, consider leaving it on for longer than 20 minutes. That is recommended on the label. Now, did that do anything leaving it on for 10 minutes longer than recommended? We may never know, but it felt right. So go with your gut. But 20 minutes is great for most people. Okay, we have made it to the rinsing portion. Listen to what I just said. Rinse, I didn't say shampoo. If you wanna get the most longevity out of your color, especially when using sign print on color, don't shampoo it, don't do it, don't shampoo it, don't do it, don't shampoo it. See, it rhymes, it makes sense. All you gotta do is rinse, rinse heavily. I wouldn't recommend using cold water. Use cool water, okay, or like lukewarm, or a little bit warm, that's fine too. Cold water really doesn't get that color out, so you need to get all that excess color to run out. I don't like using cold water when I'm rinsing hair. It doesn't feel like it makes sense to me. I get it, but I don't get it type of thing. So we're gonna rinse and we're gonna scrub that scalp, but obviously you're gonna get a bit of staining, all right? It's just the name of the game and uh, you can't always avoid it when using semi permanent color, unfortunately. We're gonna scrub that scalp as best as we can, but when that first shampoo comes, that is when all that color on the scalp will come off. Also, 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 make sure when you wash your hair finally for the first time, second time, all the times, use a color safe shampoo and a color saving shampoo is better than a color safe shampoo. I obviously use my own polychrome color extending shampoo and color extending conditioner that will lock in those color molecules and retain it for much longer. If you have very resistant hair that wants to just have all that color come out right away, use a color saving shampoo and conditioner. That is why we create them, because it saves your life and your wallet. All right, so we rinsed her hair, we blow dried and styled, and are you ready to see the final result? <gasps> I actually was so surprised at some of these results. And we're done. Oh my God, honestly, wow. This <laughs> looks incredible. How do you feel? I feel amazing, <laughs> actually, it's just perfect. <laughs> it looks so good. It really like livens you up, makes you mm -hmm. look like a badass. I'm kind of obsessed. Mm -hmm. I and am- It's really bright, like I can uh, see yeah. the color. We're gonna show it in the sun too, but like already in this light, it is so purple. And I'll show you guys the underneath right now. Yeah. Not everything's great, didn't expect it to be, but let's show off the underneath. First we have super blue. This one showed up really nicely. If you wanna go blue, definitely recommend that one. Um, So next we have berry, which at her roots where it's the most healthy, it didn't show up as much, but on the ends like it has a little tint of berry overall wouldn't exactly recommend that one for darker hair lime green you can tell like it's green but i mean it's obviously not lime green but it does have a hint of green in there i don't really know why you would want this on dark hair but we did it for you anyways let's ignore this staining but that'll go away when she shampoos it once coral nothing obviously coral is a very very light color super red uh yes looks incredible this looks so good it is quite red and in the sun we'll also show you it is gorgeous slate gray nah nothing super orange i honestly can't even tell where that one is so <laughs> we'll skip that one the green definitely showed up it's not super bright i don't know how long that's gonna last uh but it is there yellow it did make her hair slightly more warm but not too much happening turquoise looks so pretty it is definitely turquoise and i'm surprised how different it actually looks on her hair compared to the super blue like obviously they're different colors but it is quite a rich turquoise and then super pink yes this one looks amazing too this actually looks super pink um even pinker in real life so that looks so good too if she wanted to do her whole head that color it would look amazing <sighs> That purple was so freaking cute. And the blues and the turquoise. Oh, and even the yellow was like weirdly pretty. So obviously her color looks stunning. I love that super purple on her. It's so good. Oh. <laughs> Another thing to be aware of is that when you're coloring natural, healthy, <laughs> resistant hair, like I keep saying over and over again, beware that the color will last a bit less time than if you were to lighten your hair or bleach your hair before using my color. I like to just be on the cautious side and say it'll last on average about five washes, which is amazing because if you want something really quick to change up your style, you don't wanna to commit to it. You also wanna do like a treatment at the same time. This is perfect for you. There's basically no commitment. It comes 
smooth right out. You don't have to pre-lighten your hair and you get awesome color results. But with hair color, there's a lot of variation and a lot of different things to think about when talking about how long a color is gonna last. So there is no actual set duration of how long it'll last for you. It depends on your environment, how much you wash your hair, how damaged your hair is, how dry it is, how curly, how straight. All these different things can make a difference in how long it lasts. And of course, people that do pre-lighten their hair before using X Mono Color can expect more vibrant results as long as more long-lasting results. So we take one last look at how iconic Regina's hair looks. Look at her looking majestic outside. Oh, a little slow-mo for you. She looks sickening. That was such an easy transformation that took literally like an hour. Now there's also an alternative for those of you guys who want the benefits of X Mono Color but do not want to actually color your hair a color, super gloss. This is our clear color, so it is all the same benefits and then some that all the X Mono colors have, but this also has luminescine in it, which is incredible incredible for making your hair literally glow. Your hair will look like glass. Does the same stuff, but does not have any actual pigment in it. So think of it like an extreme deep conditioning mask that also gives you long lasting shine beyond one single wash. So it is intense. It also does not weigh your hair down. It feels incredible. Incredible. It is so easy to do. It's also just really fun to pamper yourself and make you feel like you're coloring your hair even if you don't actually color it. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? I mean, I love doing stuff to my hair and just feeling like gorgeous the next day when I wake up and I'm like, wow. <laughs> Look at this hair. Now with all the X Mono Color range, on average, you're gonna get about one to two uses per container. There is quite a bit of color in these jars. I have seen people with shorter or more fine hair get a, even three to four uses out of it. So it all really just depends on how thick your hair is and how long it is, but you're at least gonna get one application from it. Unless you literally have hair down to your like knees, then uh, you might need to, but you know what I mean. And like promised in the beginning of the video, I have a little gift for you, you know. Your boy's got a little something saying. I am giving all of you 15% off all X Mono color from now until April 14th. Do it now. So all you gotta do at checkout is use code YouTube15 to get your 15% off your X Mono color and try it out. I cannot wait to see all the looks you guys create and all the different hair colors you try out. I love hair color and I love nothing more than seeing you guys actually use it. So please, if you're gonna use my hair color, make a video, make a TikTok. I wanna react to you. I wanna see everything you guys create. It is so fulfilling and exciting when I see the confidence appear on somebody. When they finish coloring their hair with my hair color or use my hair products, like it is so cool. It lights my life up. Thank you to all of you guys who have already created videos and I hope to see some more. Well, that was gorgeous. That was fun. That's really all for today, guys. I mean, if you want to give this video a like because you enjoyed it, that'd be great. If you want to give it a subscribe, that'd be cool too. You can also check out X Mondo's Instagrams as well as mine. Here are the links. All the products are linked below that I use in today's video. You can also head to xmondohair.com to find anything and everything X Mondo hair related. And there you go. Check out some more videos of me. Let's hang out more together today, right over here and over here. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll I'll see you next time. Bye.